Um, all right, next call is a no heat, no cool in Placerville. So we're in Sacramento right now. It'll be about a 40 minute drive over there. Maybe I get to actually work today. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, that's it. I'll uh, we'll, we're gonna move on to the third call and hope that I catch some video there uh, as our day rolls along here. Holy cow, that was a crazy call. That was a 16 year old heat pump. Uh, and the the uh, breaker kept tripping on the. Breaker kept tri tripping at the electrical panel. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm not the smartest technician in the world. I just like, I just like making videos. So. <laughs> So, you know, I get stumped, uh, I don't know, fairly easily. So, uh, so on this particular one, I went ahead, since I knew the breaker was tripping, I wanted to see if I had, you know, continuity between the two line wires going to, um, to the, uh, heat pump. And I did. So just that was just a quick check. Also, I went to the compressor, took all the terminals off, and looked for short to ground. Looked for continuity from ground to um, common and run and start on the compressor. And I had no, you know, I was fine on that. I also did it to the fan motor. I wanted to see if I had uh, short to ground on any of the windings of the fan motor. So I had, I felt like I eliminated that. And then I got back to the then I got back to the contactor and I have continuity between the two load side, I'm sorry, the two line side of the, you know, terminals uh, coming into the contactor. I got continuity between those two uh, coming into the contactor. And so that made me start thinking and start removing wires like, okay, well what's if I remove this, what happens? If I remove this, what happens? So, so I thought it was a bad contactor. I replaced. I went and got a contactor. Put came back in. Had this and set it all up before I plugged it back in or anything. I, I, uh, once I got the wires hooked up to the contactor without plugging it in. Sure enough, the uh, all the same symptoms were coming back. So. Had continuity between those two points, so so sometimes I forget to start eliminating stuff. Like like what I mean is take the co take the compressor out of the out of the scenario. Okay, just unplug the compressor wires, and do you get a short then? So so I. Um, Took those compressor wires off. I went to the breaker, plugged it all back in, flipped it on. The breaker did not trip. But when I got outside, the fan motor was on. So that was really weird to me. The system wasn't calling for anything, but apparently 
the fan relay on that defrost board is a normally closed position. So, yeah. Um, uh, so we also did the same thing with the compressor. We took the fan out of the situation, took all the fan wires off, and just hooked up the compressor. Now what happens? The breaker trips. So we know we got a problem with the compressor and um, and the, the outdoor condenser fan motor. So, woo, crazy job. These folks are gonna be, it's a 16 year old system. These folks are gonna be moving really soon. They're just trying to clean up the house and get this, you know, get everything running so that they can sell the house. So they're gonna go for repairs. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and order the compressor and the outdoor fan motor. And, uh, and I'll do a video on it and we'll see if that gets it going. So try to remember this one as in, are we gonna be able to get this one up and going? Once again, thanks, to, thanks again to uh, technical support rep for Ferguson, Rude, Western Air. I mean, uh, a bunch of company names are going there, but uh, great guy. So that's it for this video. I got stumped, but thank God I had some, you know, some guys I can call up and ask for help. <laughs> so, uh, okay, well, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next video.